Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In today's video, the Mystic Beings and the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to investigate as to why Jamie and Nikki Perkins, who are YouTubers, um, my favorite YouTubers by the way, have gone missing. They have like just stopped posting vlogs and usually maybe somebody is sick or they'll say they're going to take a break but their absence to YouTube has been very abrupt and I'm going to take a look at my deck now I don't even know if I'm going to publish this video unless something valuable can come out of this something meaningful something that can help everybody not you know um, not a way to hurt them in any way so Jamie if you Jamie and Nikki Perkins um, they have two daughters Ava and um, Zoe so I don't want to say anything that will hurt their family but I am just curious as to why they have not posted videos in the last month or so so I'm going to start with this with a series of questions I have already cleansed my deck with star anise smoke like I burned it and it's, it's, everything is clean everything is ready to go so my question is okay um has someone cheated in the relationship between Jamie and Nikki Perkins on YouTube? I am going to pull a card here. Now you know my cards would tell me to mind my own business in a minute. So, but I'm just gonna do this just for, I'm gonna go with this card. Has someone cheated in the relationship? And, uh, says no I'm so happy okay no I trust my God all right so I asked the question has someone cheated in the relationship all right my next question is are they still together as a couple and I'm just gonna go across and pull up a card and we're gonna see what the cards say are they still together as a couple and the cards say Be patient. Okay. All right. So something is going on in the relationship, um, and they're trying to work it out. So what I'm going to do now is take a look into my love deck, and we're going to see what's going on with Jamie and Nikki. Perkins and see if perhaps we can provide some type of prayer or assistance or to give them some type of love and light to help them. Okay, I got chills. Alrighty, I'm already, let me just shuffle the deck a little bit with the intention of Jamie and Nikki Perkins. What is it that we need to know? What can we do to help you? Is there any advice I can give to help you at this point in your relationship so let me just see here what is going on what is going on all right what's going on with Jamie and Nikki that they don't mind sharing with the public that is what I'm here for today all righty let go ahead and Pull some cards until it feels right. What's going on with Jamie and Nikki? Alrighty. Alright. Okay. It feels right. I don't I'm not a person.
person who likes to pull a thousand cards. So we're gonna go ahead with the first card. It says, uh, it says what? So to the question, what's going on with Jamie and Nikki? It says what you have defies definition. All right, that gives me, that tells me that the love they have between them is a very deep love and it tells me that the love between them is very deep okay but it also means that what we see may not be exactly you know it, the way things are you know there could be layers to the relationship like we think that they're you know just a couple but we don't know all the other factors which that's how it is with all relationships but anyway let's keep going so the next card I have in terms of Jamie, it says, oh, trust your instincts. So the card that says, trust your instincts, whatever feelings that you had about maybe a possible um, indiscretion or that something was going wrong and you just kind of maybe talked yourself out of it or people were saying things like, oh, such and such would never do that. This person love you. Like maybe it's just your imagination. No. You always trust your instincts they're there for a reason and don't use your rational mind to say things like well we have kids and we have a family and our family love us and we're all human and we're all capable of making mistakes and we're all capable of you know doing things that we'll regret so whatever feelings that you had about maybe you know um, this person was you know maybe talking on the phone in the car or maybe this person was you know there were a lot of little gaps in their time that really didn't add up but you kind of foo fooed it off because you thought oh such and such wouldn't do that like no trust your instincts because your instincts can save your marriage your instincts can save your life your instincts will save your your relationship your self-esteem your self-worth and I think sometimes we don't want to come across as being jealous or insecure but we can help when we are honest we give another person the opportunity to be their highest and best self as well because maybe you know sometimes we may have a crush on somebody and we not it may not even realize that we have a crush on that person until we're called out so whenever we are honest we give everyone an opportunity to step back and take a more objective look at the situation in order to do what is best for the highest good for all people involved okay I'm just gonna pull all of these cards and then I'm gonna pull them together the next card I have it says they love you more than you ever know trust your instincts they love you more than you ever know so one of the things that I really hope that you guys can pick up from this reading is that yes you know there may I'm picking up that there has been some type of indiscretion. Um, there has been there have been some boundaries crossed in terms of trust, but the, you guys both love each other more than the other person will ever know. That whatever mistakes have happened, the love between you is so rich, is so deep. The roots are so deep, and that um, your love is. I don't want to say it's unbreakable because. You know, sometimes it's not that love is the love is unbreakable, but sometimes the the boundaries that protect the relationship becomes broken, and then this is what separates people. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, even people who get a divorce and still love each other, and they they look at each other and wonder, like, how do we let this happen? Because they didn't protect their relationship. So, guys, I, another piece of advice that I have to you is, you know yes you love each other it says what you have defies definition now what you know you have a card is saying that your love is is very meaningful very rich and very deep between you but you have to sometimes let me just say this couples are so in love that they think that their love is enough do you know what I mean 
Like we love each other so much that we don't have to be uh, guard ourselves against. I can, you know, talk to subscribers and meet people for lunch and hang out at parties where everybody's, you know, half, you know, naked and drink all night and come in. Do you understand? Because we love each other so much that we don't have to put up the necessary boundaries to keep our relationship safe. And I find that that is one of the biggest relationships that a lot of couples make. So I'm going to say to you that, yes, you love each other, but I'm going to ask you to start saying, hey, you know, there are certain things that I only want you to wear with me. We can't go out and start, I'm not telling you how to run your relationship. I'm just saying that whatever, don't think that your love is so you know strong that it is going to fight off all of the temptations in such a young and beautiful couple you know what I mean people want what you have so you guys are going to have to set up some real tight boundaries to keep your relationship intact uh -oh. then I have a card that says um, you hurt them deeply okay I got to get another card that says be patient. The card from the mystic being says to be patient. So my instinct is telling me that whatever problems that they're having right now, they're definitely going to work it out and that we just need to be patient because, you know, we have the card twice. Somebody hurt the other one and, um, treasure. Hmm. Let me just keep looking. And then it says, saying goodbye is never easy. This, there was a breakup. Somebody, there was a breakup in the relationship. Um, this is my last card. It says, let love in. So, I am inquiring about Jamie and Nikki Perkins. It says, let love in. Saying goodbye is never easy. Be patient. You hurt them deeply. Hmm. They love you more than you ever know. What you have defies a definition. Trust your instincts. So, my instincts are telling me that there was a breakup and that there may have been some inappropriate behavior from one or both sides and that they are working through their issues and it's going to take a little time for them to heal because um, it's going to take a little time for them to heal because whatever happened was you know was it really rocked their world in terms of trusting the other person um, it says saying goodbye is never easy. This gives me the impression that he left or she left or somebody left the home briefly or I don't know if they're back yet and um, they have two little girls and I think that this person, um, you know, realized the value that they have in their family and they don't want to leave. But... Um, I'm just going to say my impression is telling me that there was some inappropriate behavior. Um, somebody, you know, hurt the other person deeply. They left, but they realized that the love they have between them is a very powerful love. And in time, they're going to be fine and they're going to be back posting videos in no time. In fact, they may have a video posted by the time this video goes up, but I would say at least in the near future. Like I was, that they are going to post videos and things are going to be fine between them. Um, I get the impression that there are some ego issues. Um, I think that, I'm just gonna say with, with Jamie having to deal with, with Nikki's beauty is, um, I think it's challenging at times in the sense that when you don't feel like you deserve something, that you, you push it away. So, now let's not take this the wrong way. 
Jamie is a very handsome man. However, Nikki is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Now, let me just tell you, now I know some of you aren't going to agree with me, and that's okay, but I am speaking a, I think it's a spiritual truth about planet Earth, is that a woman's greatest asset is her beauty, and a man's greatest asset is his wealth. I'm talking about in terms of this whole setup of the matrix of the way Earth is set up. So, when you have a woman who is extremely attractive, we think she should be paired with a man who is very powerful and wealthy. I don't know if that makes sense. And um, so, in a sense, the couple, you know, I'm talking about Jamie and Nikki. It's like, it's like you're, you don't, Nikki, I'm sorry, Jamie may not feel equally yoked in the sense that he is not a millionaire. Whereas I'm quite sure there are a lot of extremely wealthy men who want to take Nikki from him. You know what I'm saying? And so, and with Nikki, even though she's grounded and very humble, I can see this creating a power struggle, at least from a spiritual, emotional, and psychological perspective in the relationship. If that if that makes sense sometimes and I think that um, yeah and I think the stress of being new parents and having two children you know babies pretty much has taken a toll on the, on their relationship in terms of the time they spend together and it seems like the best moments are caught on camera and when the camera is off they really don't know what to say to the other person. They don't know um, how to interact. If the activities aren't planned around vlogging, it's almost like their life has become an illusion of public perception. So when real problems occur in the relationship, they don't even know how to handle it because they, you know, everything, the, the whole relationship with themselves their family and their children has become almost like a play so when they have a real problem they don't really know like they they're like looking through the script like okay what's my next what's my line and they realize there isn't a line or there isn't something they're trying to portray to the public and they don't really know how to um, interact with each other how to communicate in a way to heal their relationship so my advice to Jamie and Nikki, I'm going to pull some cards for you. So one of the things is that your cards are saying let love in. And I believe that you guys love each other deeply. You have tried to, whatever this has been, a temporary split. Somebody left the home briefly, but you're back. Um, in time, you're going to work this out. So whoever was hurt the other person, I don't know if somebody was texting or uh, maybe... Something was out of bounds. Something was out of bounds and it really rocked the other person's world in terms of trust. And um, I think that the person who uh, broke the trust in the relationship maybe was feeling a little... Um, well, basically, when you live a public life, people see you as infallible. They feel that, you know, you... you they're attracted to you and they don't even know like how hmm, how can I say this how lonely and empty your life can be so what I'm saying is when the cameras aren't rolling and you're you're trying to think about what to do when the camera is rolling so it's somewhere between creating videos and um, planning videos and editing videos real life has kind of gotten lost and the person who intruded whether it's a friend or inappropriate you know like I, I just think it's somebody who may have a close friend who um, is a little bit too close but this person made the other person feel alive because they were out of the routine they were not being recorded and I think when you record something you take away the intimacy of it you take away 
um, what's special and unique about it. It's almost like, you know, how you wake up in the morning and you see that a flower has bloomed. It's not the same appreciation as it, if you had watched the flower the entire night go inch by inch by inch. You know, everything in life is not supposed to be seen. It's supposed to be experienced. And I think that living in the public eye, that you guys need to be super careful about, you know, what you share with your public. Like, there should be a part of you that is not editing that is not planning the next video, that is not recording the next video, that is not even thinking about the next video. There should be a part of you that is so real and so juicy and so authentic that you know that the what the public is perceiving is not the real thing. So I guess what I'm saying is what we are seeing on the vlogs is actually the best of you. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's when the house is the cleanest, it's when the smiles are the brightest, it's when everybody is on their best behavior, but um, when you're off camera, you're thinking about what you're going to do on camera. So real life has lost its luster. I'm going to look into my deck and look for a couple cards here, and I'm going to see if there's any advice from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. This is the past. This is, this is together. Okay, so let me just put my cards back because they're nice and clean and straight for a change. So I'm going to just take a look here and see. So here is the vice to you, Jamie and Nikki Perkins from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The first card I have for you is from the matter who represents divine masculine and he he's the father the general beauty goddesses and he says never choose power over love so is there any power struggles in your relationship um, in terms of like I, I'm quite sure some of the comments you receive from your subscribers from your fans has an impact on the relationship Excuse me, when you are seen out in public, how people respond to you, I think that has an impact on your relationship. Um, sometimes people don't respect other people's relationships. Somebody is saying, oh, this person is so hot and you're so, you know, this other person may feel a little like, what am I, chopped liver? You know what I mean? So never choose power over love. So just remember that this is not a power struggle in terms of um, what's being recorded, when or who's most popular or who people, you know, like I think you guys are going to have to work extra hard on making sure that the best of your life is not what we see on camera as opposed to what you are living. The next card I have for you from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses you getting a lot of the matter because it's only only pull up three cards and our next card I have from you is again from the matter and the matter says um, truth is power oh my god so listen I'm gonna tell you something you got oh my you got two cards that talks about power uh, okay something's going on there's a power struggle um, somebody is feeling and significant somebody is feeling like they don't matter like what they say doesn't matter um, that they are just almost like the coat rack and they're feeling underappreciated which I think led to what could have been a um, indiscretion you know what I'm saying so truth is power I think that you guys need to really tell the other person the truth and um, it doesn't mean you should say it in a way that hurts but but your power is going to be the truth that you share with each other like um, hey I'm feeling lonely hey I'm feeling unappreciated hey I'm feeling that um, you know and sometimes and I'm not accusing you of this Nikki but sometimes as women we all we you know when we dress up to go out so other people can see us at our best you know what I hair on and our makeup but then we're around the house we don't do that for our man you know what I'm saying 
Um, so we, he, he, the only time he gets to uh, experience all of that beauty, sort of to speak, is when we're doing it for other people. So I think sometimes in a relationship, um, we, I, I'm not sure what's going on, guys. This is just a reading I'm doing because I love you guys so much. Um, I'm just going to say that you, Jamie, you have to tell Nikki the truth. And Nikki, you have to tell Jamie the truth. Like, now it doesn't have to be in a way like, oh my, like, you know, a raw, let me rip your head off truth. But you need to tell each other the truth because that is going to be the power to keep you guys together. That is going to give you the power to fight against all of your obstacles. And then I have one more card for you of advice. And this card is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Far, who represents our third eye, which has to do with our imagination, wisdom, understanding. And she says, be original. And you know what I think this card means for you guys? Don't You don't have to follow fads on YouTube to, um, to feel like, to get views. Like you don't have to, you know, I, I remember, I think you guys were doing a video and you were like eating whatever the people ordered in front of you. Like, I feel like I love you guys so much. When you're just with your family and you are just sitting around doing nothing, I love you. I love the way you interact with each other. I love the way you used to be affectionate towards each other. I loved when you guys were just being yourselves. Like you don't need to follow, you know, fads and, you know, dye your food red because you know, you you guys are better than that. Like you, what makes you original is the love between you, the way you guys respect and love each other, the way you um, love your kids and spend time together. Like one of my favorite videos is when um, Jamie was teaching Ava how to walk. And he was like, this is, here's one for mankind and one for Ava. Come on, you can do it. I love that video. I've never seen a father so in love and so engaged you know going swimming with the girls like being original just means like just be yourselves don't try to fit in with the fads on youtube and jamie you used to put a lot more energy into editing your videos and i mean they were a lot more creative the music you used to pick i mean you have lost your way a little bit and i hope that this reading is not offensive I'm not sure how long I'm gonna let it stay up or if you because you know I don't want to hurt anybody but I you know I love my card deck that God has given me um, I love helping people and I really hope that you find value in this video thank you so much for watching